We are once again surrounded by the carnival atmosphere of the Jungfrau Jak here. Top of Europe is what they say, even though I think we're pretty far from that. Um, today we're gonna go climb, Aaron, pronounce it for me. Monk. Monk. No, Monk. 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 So Nailed it. you just pick any of those pronunciations and decide if you like it. They're all wrong. Iger yesterday, this today, this is our rest day before we have a big day tomorrow. And Chase really wanted this peak and we're gonna give it to him. Christmas is coming early for Chase. What Chase wants, Chase gets. We're at the bottom of today's mountain and there's this little move here groups in front of us have roped up and taken this very seriously. And whenever you see people doing that, it makes you nervous and think that maybe you're not taking it serious enough. After you make this move, you walk on some loose rock behind a bunch of people. Then you get on some snow, walk a razor ridge, high five on the summit, turn around, come back down, eat a big old brat, get in the car and drive to a different mountain. Beautiful day. I mean, that cloud cover behind me. I mean, how do you beat that? It's freaking unreal. We're back in Mountain Disneyland. Took a train through the Iger that we climbed yesterday. Got to kind of the backside. Now we're heading up. Monk should be a relatively short day compared to yesterday. I think it's like 2,500 feet of climbing or something like that. So nice little little jaunt. How cool is that? It's a uh, spicy but manageable razor ridge. I just thought this would be the perfect time to do a check-in. It's gotten a little less hairy, but still, whew, look at this. Okay, go. So as you can see, you want to pay attention to every step. Oh guys, that was fun. <laughs> the, perfect, the perfect amount of fun. Oh yeah, this is so cool. Just off the summit, we were standing on the summit, it's kind of cold and windy. A glorious day out, excitement, not too much work, 2,200 feet of climbing, like three miles <laughs> round trip. I think this is one of the greatest return on investments I've ever had in the mountains. Like really, it's just mind blowing, hair raising, exciting stuff. Good call Chase. And well worth the $180 I had to pay to take the train up through the Eiger. So I had to go down. I wonder how this razor ridge is gonna be on the down. I think that the, that ridge behind me is about as giddy as I've ever been in the mountains. It was just so freaking cool. And I love how in Switzerland, the way they make their clouds is they just have them low enough that you just look down on them oh, dude. Uh, as you're on the top of these mountains. 
very considerate of the Swiss to make their clouds sit low. Just heading back down to the uh, the train, and as any 13,000 foot mountain day should end, we'll hop on the train, go back to the mountain you just climbed, and back to your uh, ch chateau.